Welcome. This is the day in the news. First, the highlight. Bandits attack mobile police patrol team, killing seven personnel and setting a blaze patrol vehicle in Zamfara. Trial of Chidimao Juku for the mother of Michael Lucifo Ataga stalled following disagreement over proof of evidence. Senate approves conference committee report on Electoral Act. Governor Dara Zeshako faults decision by FEC to award contracts for reconstruction of Federal Road in Taraba. Bandits have attacked a mobile police patrol team, killing seven personnel, setting ablaze the patrol vehicle in Zamfara State. The incident occurred along Magani Guso Road when troops deployed to keep peace in the area were ambushed by gunmen on Monday night. The whereabouts of some personnel who escaped the attack is still unknown. The troops were overpowered by the bandits due to their large number and couldn't call for reinforcement due to lack of telecommunication services in communities outside the state capital. Magami community is few kilometers away from the troubled Dansadao area, which is known as one of the hotbeds of banditry in Zamfara. The try of Chidimao Juku, a 300-level mass communication student of the University of Lagos, who is alleged to have murdered Super TV's chief executive officer, Michael Lataga, was told on Tuesday at the Lagos State High Court, sitting at the Tafar Balewa Square Annex. At the last sitting in October, Mr. Juku had co-accused Adebayo Quadri and one chairman Eguchu pleaded not guilty to the nine-count charge before Justice Yetunde Adesoya. The case was adjourned to November 9 for the prosecution led by the Director of Public Prosecution from the Lagos State Minister of Justice, Olayin Kadiemi, to open its case against the accused person. The Nigerian Senate has approved and passed the Conference Committee report on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. The report was approved after a motion moved by the Senate leader, Yahaya Abdullahi, on Tuesday. Recall that the Senate and House of Representatives passed different versions of the bill, which led to the setting up of a conference committee. <laughs> Governor Dara Zishaku has faulted the decision by the Federal Executive Council to award contracts for the reconstruction of Bali City Federal Road in Taraba. The governor who protested the FEC decision through a special advisor and media and publicity, Bala Danabo, said the road leading to Gambo had been early awarded to PW Nigeria Limited and reconstructed through the initiative and funding of the Taraba State Government. The deplorable roads leading to Gambo headquarters of Sadhuana local government in the state has been of great concern to stakeholders. The multi-billionaire hydropower project signed in November 2017 by the Buhari administration in Sadhuana local government is set to be Nigeria's largest power producer with an installed capacity of 3,050 megawatts. Roads linking the local government headquarters have become a death trap, necessitating the state government to fund its reconstruction. A chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, known dosted Philip Salunge, has dragged the party to court over alleged removal of his name from the list of delegates to the recently conducted national convention in Abuja. But the party, in a swift reaction, says Alunge has no moral justification to sue the PDP.